Oh my god, it feels like it's been 84 years. I went to LA, I had a dream, I wanted to be an artist, I wanted to draw, I wanted to be myself, I wanted to be happy, I worked really hard, and my dream came true. Hi guys, welcome back, Martine here, also known as BXC. This may be a long one because it's an introduction to a new band that I haven't talked about yet. So for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to my favorite K-pop girl group, Blackpink. They're really new and They've had a few, like, I would call them small EPs, where they've released, like, single songs. I think they did them two at a time, and then the last one they did one. But they immediately won my heart over. So a little bit about how I was introduced to this band. I think it was talked about for a long time, like, through the internet, that the company YG, who's known for 21 and Big Bang, had like this new group that they were assembling and they had them like training and like there was a lot of talk about them and one day I noticed on uh, Twitter that they were trending um, the band being Blackpink. See I was a huge like uh, fan of Big Bang and 21. They were one of my first like actual favorite uh, K-pop groups that I was introduced to so I had high hopes for this new group and since it was trending, I'm like, they must be like awesome. So, you know, one day I decided to watch their videos, which their first few videos were Boombaya and uh, Whistle. Now, even though most people seem to like Whistle more, um, I was more on the side of Boombaya because I liked the level of energy. See, the thing about K-pop girl groups, for me, is they just tend to follow this style that is very like cutesy and feminine and like, very, uh, I feel like weak is a mean word for it, but very like gentle, you know? And I'm generally not very uh, big of a fan of that. I'm more into like fierceness and intenseness. So when I watched Boombaya, like that one gave me that. Obviously Whistle did that too, but like even just the beginning of Boombaya with like Lisa. Like Black pink in your area. Being a bad girl, I know I am. And I'm so hot, I need a fan. I don't want a boy, I need a man. I was like I was in immediately and that kind of kept me hooked. I mean I also love Whistle. I love Whistle. That I love that one too. It's just like at the same level. But I was just kind of a little bit thrown off by how much people didn't like Boombaya I guess. But anyway then they released uh, a second like EP which was um, Playing With Fire and Stay which I felt like they shifted the style a lot because you know when this band came out it came out as a almost successor to 21 so obviously there was a lot of comparisons like four girls um, by the same uh, company so you know uh, the style from the first two singles that were released was compared a lot to 21 which I could see it to me it seemed different but I could see kind of like the um, formula in there uh, but it, it seemed different to me and then the last one they came up with was um, As If It's Your Last, which here's where like I hit a block. Uh, when that one came out, I didn't hate it, <laughs> but that one immediately I could tell sounded just like a 21 song. I'm like, this is just a straight up 21 song. Like the way how bouncy it was, I just, it was just not my thing. So that one took me a while to kind of get into. Um, it just, I wanted more, like out of all of the songs, I preferred closer to Whistle and uh, Boom Ba Ya. Playing With Fire obviously is a dope song, but like, um, but anyway, they haven't been around that long. So, um, you know, we're still building this kind of connection to the band. They've had like variety show moments and B-Lives. I love all the, uh, all the girls. They're all really funny and cute. When the band was, first form and they showed them and I was getting to know them. It seemed like everyone's favorite was Lisa, which, you know, she was my favorite too. Overall, I think it was just because of her uh, fierceness, sassiness, and also her look, because I wasn't used to seeing that type of look in K-pop. Um, that being like, she has like much uh, bigger lips and big eyes. Like generally, uh, the beauty standard in K-pop is a lot different from like, let's say here in America. Um, not only like in K-pop, but like in Korea, um, you know, they prefer, they do like the larger eyes, but they prefer the smaller mouth and smaller features, tend to like more rounded jawline for girls. Guys tend to have a sharper jawline, but um, you know, Lisa looked different to me. She had the larger eyes, but she had like the bigger lips and uh, 
a lot of the girls in this band I felt like weren't the standard in K-pop, which caught my eye. Like I'm like, oh dang, all these girls don't look like what I'm used to, except for Jisoo. And I will admit she wasn't my favorite at the beginning because I knew Jisoo was like the standard of beauty in Korea. So to me, that just meant she looked kind of basic to me. <laughs> She kind of just looked like everyone else. Everyone, even me, thought that she looked like Dara a lot. Um, so I wasn't really impressed that much by her. I mean, she must have been a big hit in Korea since people considered her the visual. But I preferred like how the other girls look. They all just had like such a like more exaggerated style to their features, you know. But the funny thing about that though is like through getting to know them through variety shows, uh, she ended up like winning me over because although she has this look of being like very like gentle and feminine and like uh, this Korean beauty standard, literally like her interacting with people is so funny because she's so jokey and when she laughs, she laughs with like the biggest like smile and like doesn't do that thing where she covers her mouth, she just like lets it out and I'm like, oh your mouth is so big when you smile and I'm just like, oh okay, like you have a lot of personality. I love everyone in this group. So. This is my favorite band. <laughs> anyway, I've been waiting for this. They had announced that they were releasing a mini album, which dropped today, including a music video and a single that dropped today. So today, I'm gonna be reacting to Blackpink. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> I already have thoughts on the name, but. <laughs> I wanna watch the video, react to it, and at the end, I'll kind of give my thoughts. Ready, set, go. Okay, loving the looks already. Ooh. <laughs> the hammer, <laughs> the light stick. Ooh, that dress rose. Okay, I'm liking the way it's transitioning. Okay, everyone's seven looks. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. These are these sets are crazy. Yes. Like, am I gonna get a Jenny rap? Yes. I love fast rapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far the transitions are working way better in this song than like in their older stuff. Because that's the thing about YG. Um, they always do like these two different styles of music and put them together and sometimes it doesn't transition well <laughs> but the singing to rapping to chorus is transitioning really good in this one Sets. They always have the best sets. Ooh. 
Ooh, that last pose. Ooh, the outfit on Jenny. She's given. <coughs> she's given Heather's. She's given Clueless. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that was so good. <laughs> So for me, I do not like songs that are titled as noises, such as do 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 do, <laughs> or like ring dong ding, I think, or um, there's like a ton of songs, d d d d by Exit. <laughs> like it's just like it's uh, it makes it hard to figure out how to pronounce it, and it's also hard to like tell people about it. Like, oh, did you see that new Blackpink song? Did it did it did it. <laughs> like that's what makes it hard um, so I wish it had a different name to it uh, but that's just about the title uh, the song worked well this actually became I think a good mesh of evolution from the uh, first like whistle Bumbaya era to the Plan with Fire and uh, Stay era it was a lot of energy yet it was kind of smooth and I like that I don't mind that I mean, just as long as it wasn't like called the way like as if it's your last because like that was <laughs> something else. But um, yeah, I really like this. I really am excited to check out the other three songs that are apparently on this like mini album. Everyone was serving Lux. Everyone was serving like Lux. Like everyone was like looking fierce, there's no goofiness, no cuteness. Everyone was just like, we're here to like slay and kill it, like let's do this. And that's what they did. And that's what they did. Great way to start my morning. <laughs> if you like my reaction, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to check out my other videos, uh, check my channel out. I'll leave my uh, Instagram and my Twitter in the description if you want to check those out. And I hope you come back. But if you don't, thank you and bye. <laughs> Choking on this bitch. Oh. <laughs>